So you wanna have volume in the front of your hair. And if you are just joining this, you're probably wondering why is this sound different or look different? Well, I'm filming from my iPhone and behind me in my studio, we have no power due to the hurricane, Hurricane Ida. This literally is the only part, one outlet is providing power. And there, some of the lights here work. I don't, I don't know how that's, but the electrical uh, was damaged due to the flooding and stuff. So we have partial power in one area of the studio. And that's why I'm filming this right now. I can't even, uh, I have no Wi-Fi either. So bear with me as we get through this. I'm still putting out content. So the, the video of today is you wanna get volume in the front of your hair. And the reason why this is so important is because it's the first thing people see, right? If you're facing somebody, they're not looking at the back of your head, they're looking at this area right in through here. So how do you go about getting volume right in that area? Well, it's simple. <laughs> if you take a blow dryer like that, sorry. If you take the blow dryer right here and you use the nozzle, right? And I do sell these blow dryers on my website, shop.thesalon.com. You take the nozzle and what you want to do is you want to lift with your fingers like this, right in the front and use the heat and, and the nozzle to direct the hair and the air to go upwards, creating that volume. Let me just demonstrate real quick so you can see what I'm talking about. Now, you may have noticed when I was blow drying this, I was creating like a cupping motion like this. What that does is it allows you to actually create some sort of a wave or arch in front, all right? And that's what the heat does. But if you noticed when I was using the nozzle and the blow dryer, I wasn't just going right up to the hair like this or the scalp because that would be damaging it. I was actually just softly doing that and moving the, the blow dryer in a different direction so I can get that volume and it still be very, very gentle on the hair so it wasn't damaging the hair or anything like that. Also, this blow dryer is designed to condition the hair while blow drying, so that's really cool. But the key is to get your fingers and use that to lift, right, and to set the hair in place. So that's what you're trying to do, set the hair in place. This has no product whatsoever, which is really awesome. Not to say that products are, are bad, but I got this with my hands and also using the blow dryer to get this much volume. So that's a, real, a technique that anyone can do. Please let me know in the comments below if you tried this, if it worked for you. If your hair is too long, it's just gonna collapse. If your hair is like super, super thick and heavy, you may need some product. But having the hair the right length, which I'd say about maybe three and a half, four inches long, you're gonna get that right amount of volume. The hair's not gonna be so weighed down and if your hair is like down to here and you're trying this, the hair will just collapse, trust me. But using this technique on the right hair length, it's gonna work wonders. So thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys thought and I'll see you soon.